Good day, welcome to today's video. This is Jerry from Backcountry Ranch. In today's video, we got another bi-directional scanner to look at. It seems to be the season for bi-directional scanners. And I got a small collection of them by now. But we're going to have a look at this one and see if it compares any different from the other ones I got. But this one here is actually pretty stylish looking. I've already had it up and out of the box, test fitted, but this is how it looks. It doesn't come in any kind of special box or anything. The tablet is actually very nice. Got your user manual. This is the box and the cable that plug into whatever you're using and it's Bluetooth. It's kind of cool. And then of course, before you can register it, it has a special serial number that corresponds with your login and your uh, model. So I'm going to find the power switch on this and we're going to boot this up. I like it because it's got nice thick rubber corners. So if you drop it, you're probably not going to break it. We're going to go through, do some updates, make sure everything's updated. And then we're going to have a look. I got the jet out back and we're going to have a look at it. Before I, before I go into my car, I just want to make sure everything is updated. I think everything is updated. So I got my 2011 Jetta TDI. There's lots of programmable features, coding, all that kind of stuff. I have the P3 gauge right there, so it utilizes the obd port so just unplugging it then i'll plug the other module in and you can see right there bluetooth I'm trying to find a way to escape that glare but i don't think there's going to be a way to get around it so uh. Actually, just gonna do the auto search, auto detect. That was quick. Jetta USA Canada 2011 sedan. Mine is a CJAA 2 liter TDI. Let's go diagnostic, auto scan, because there is a few issues oh we got engine engine electronics code this time like any scanner when you're doing the full system scan it'll take a little while because it's got to go through all the body modules and everything else all right well, let's see if we can communicate with some of these and find out what these errors are Fault code. See if there's anything new. Alright. Those ones are the same ones, but we have an engine electronics. I don't know what that is. Fault code. Radiator fan control module, faulty open circuit, and voltage supply. Now that's interesting. So I should be able to go in the action test. I gotta click the corner there. And once I click the corner, Fault priority two, fault frequency seven times, tells you the mileage, temperature where it happened. Try to give you an idea how to pinpoint what is going on. So back on the main screen here, some functions are not gonna be supported, but these are some of the hot functions that you can do. DPF cleaning, battery regulation, program key, throttle relearn, ABS bleeding, injector, steering angle, oil reset. So my cooling fan is definitely working. I 
One of the things I don't like is that um, I find right out with the scanner and I haven't tested it on other ones is that uh, the special functions, you can't just pick one and do it. You have to go through a whole setup, which basically you're kind of wasting time. Because right now, as you see, running your tests, but then you got to hit next to go to the next one. And it says running. So if you're gonna run like the fuel pump relay or something after uh, changing the filters, it'll be kind of a pain in the butt. Auxiliary pump, in case you guys didn't know, the Volkswagen actually has, the TDI has three fuel pumps. Here's your lift pump that's in your tank. There's the auxiliary fuel pump, which is just by the fuel filter, then your high pressure pump. So we're just gonna, I could hear that run as well stop so then yeah we're done so that's the kind of thing I'd, i don't really care about that the action tests because like i said you have to go through the whole like everything you can't just pick and choose i think that's uh something i don't like well it seemed to work okay on the jetta so i'm gonna plug it into my 2014 jeep wrangler jku just kind of getting used to it, trying to get the feel of it. It's got that big box cable that connects. I do prefer something a little smaller, like just a OBD dongle instead of having all this bulkiness. But it is what it is. It doesn't matter. It works. It's testing it. If I don't like it, I don't have to use it, right? Bluetooth is connected. Booting up the tablet. Like I mentioned before, I do like the tablet because of the, the rubber. It's got nice interface graphics. The auto VIN is working two out of three vehicles so far, which is good. It's pretty quick to find the, the VIN number and just check your Jeep. <clears throat> Going to do a quick test. I always do a quick test each time I do it because there's always some sort of errors in your vehicle even though you don't have a warning light come up on your dash it doesn't mean that it's not air free just some errors just don't just don't trigger your check engine light because there's nothing to do with the engine so i got tire pressure monitoring system and body control module has a couple faults so four in total which isn't bad and the body module faults are nothing serious i think it comes up as what it always does, like hood a jar, and there's something else. I can't remember what the heck it is. We're gonna find out right away. Let's go to error code, read fault code. Yeah, lost communication with radio because I no longer have the factory radio. Stop the quick test. Button's kind of like tricky there. So we're gonna go to the hot function. So just because the scanner has all these features, it doesn't mean that they're gonna work for your vehicle. These are just pre-programmed in. If the software allows you to use it with your vehicle, then so be it. So gear learning, we can't change gears with this. And we're going to press the headlamp and not supported. So I'm like, is there anything supported with this? Because we're supposed to be able to program keys too. So I'm going to press the key program, not supported. I do not know what vehicles key programming is supported. I did not try the oil reset either, but there's all your modules right there. So you can go into them and do some live data reading and everything else. I do find that the actuation tests are very confusing on how to get them to work. Um, they're not as simple as some of the other scanners I got. Where if you want to do a test, it goes directly to it. And then you can either like toggle it on or off. And this isn't as simple as what that is. The live data is pretty good. As with all scanners, you can go through. You can select uh, whatever you want to see. Then be able to put it on a graph and everything else. So this is kind of the true test for me. I find that a lot of cheaper bi-directional scanners will not detect my LS Vortex Swap Jeeps PCM for whatever reason. The expensive ones can get in and read it, but the cheaper ones won't. It won't even acknowledge it there. 
to be able to go in and see any functions, which I find is really bizarre. And in this case, this one failed dot test because it couldn't read it. All right, motherfucking beer time. What I got right here is some uh, Bath Wit White. I don't know. What the hell is this? Doesn't matter. Anyways, now talk about that scanner. Honestly, I've had a lot of scanners. Actually, I own a lot of Bidrexel scanners now. It seems that people want to send me these scanners like mad now. And it's kind of great to try them out, kind of give a perspective. <clears throat> Honestly, this one here, I personally would not buy. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the scanner. I just don't like the way the software operates. I just, uh, I have my own bi-directional scanner that I spent a lot of money on that I got a few years ago and you guys would have seen that in my videos and that is by far still the best bi-directional scanner that I own. But it also at that time was like $1,800 where these bi-directional scanners are coming in for under $500. So really, I guess you basically get what you pay for. <clears throat> for a lot of people, the scanner would work awesome. It's going to work great. Like I said for myself, I just don't like the way how the special functions work. If I want to actuate things, <clears throat> it just, uh, it just, it's not a simplified program to me but I'm sure if I used it more and more I'd figure out you know the logic behind it and how the software is set up but I'm so used to other software that uh, I just kind of get lost in it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I want to know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time cheers everybody